because if you're not smart with your investments you may have bad time now some of you may actually ask hey burgas why are you doing this video about the mario and the answer is simple not everybody is having the top defenders in the game so i wanted to talk about the mario i think she's maybe not of the best heroes but like one of my comments say she is good for the starting people and for the mid game for sure when you start doing void rift you're going to be presented with uwagwe that for me is an epic defender but is the is the best defender in the game maybe on the second place the first two position one of them is for Wagwe, I don't know if I pronounce this thing correct, but anyway, for the Mario, what we can actually do with Mario and how we can combine this hero, what kind of uh, rights and basically the places where she can help us by a lot. So if we scroll over the rights, there is promotional right, resource right, guild boss, blah, blah, blah. Now for the promotional right, yeah, you can use her since uh, here you have a combination between the healers and defenders, uh, this insignia of endurance. And if you go there for the map, you can actually play, place Mario to support your ground units just because she is a healer. You can put her maybe somewhere here. I, I don't know. I mean... Now, if we go over the rights, there is basically not many places where you can use Mario. I mean, this is my personal opinion, of course. In the promotional right, it's not the best choice. There, you just need a defender or healers that is going to cover the whole ground. What I mean by that is, we if we check the map, here you're going to have one defender, here you're going to have other one. Here, other one, or maybe fighter, it depending. Abomination have pretty decent HP, basically the biggest HP in the game. In also is a free-to-play player friendly. You can get this hero from the fusion and very easy to be get it. Let's let's be honest, from the legendary heroes. And except Alistar, Alistar from Shard is the most easiest legendary in Watcher of Realms. But anyway, here you just need the healer that can cover this place and this, and one more to cover these places. Just because on this side you're going to receive a lot of uh, a lot of mobs coming, so maybe you're going to need even two heroes here. So Mario is maybe not a good place, go good fit for Insignia of Endurance. But definitely there is a places where we can actually use her in the resource right. You just don't need anything there just on the map if we go and where is the map here okay the map is pretty straightforward and if you put her maybe i'm going to show you the places where you can actually put mario right now i'm going to put rat here and you can put mario here just to stop the incoming mobs they may spread so you may actually want to put even mario here and she's going to heal uh these two heroes here or maybe these three heroes here that is behind uh rat mario and you can put on the left and right side of the mario some uh heroes there so maybe we should go for the skills of this hero i think this may be also important part since i'm talking about the skills but maybe some people are not familiar with the mario skills oh my god <laughs> that was so fast maybe some people are not familiar with mario skills this is the skills she have she have this one increased defense by 30% for 20 seconds during the healing uh, during the period get defense based based healing restore HP based on the target maximum HP and the caster defense to the ally within lowest HP in range per second five, 50% healing. So what is the range of the Mario? The easiest way to see any hero range is just clicking on the promotions. And if there is a range change, you're going to see it. But right now we don't have any range change. So I'm not quite familiar, maybe on details. Yeah, this is the range of the hero. <laughs> it's just one, um, one step ahead of her. But anyway, let's continue with the rest of the spells. You have this uh, normal attack and this one. Every 12 seconds, the next attack granted defense-based healing to one, he uh, to one nearly alley within a 60% healing so with two words maybe to get more information for the people who is going to play with Mario 
she's defender providing healing something like this but i'm not so sure this is going to be this is going to work fine in many cases if we check her awakening the first one is maybe uh, the best one when him uh, to the light is triggered it restores 25% HP for all allies. So this don't mean it have to be close to this hero or maybe to the other corner of the map. She's going to kill all heroes and I think this is absolutely great and insane spell to be honest. From the Awakening 2 is defense increase, increase material attack by 10%. No one care for the defenders with attack. I mean... If your hero is a defender, by default he's going to have less attack. And this 10%, we need defenders to defend. <laughs> if they get hit, it's just, just to survive from the hits. And actually, our DPSs perform the damage, not the defender. Awakening 5 is magic resist 20, 200. When Meryl is on the field, she creates a holy light realm that heals 3 adjusted alliance restoring hp equals to two percent of their maximum hp for them now this hero may be the best place is going to be arena but yeah let's check out the rest of the rights for the resource right we already talked for the guild boss is a no no here you need strong strong dpss since you're not going to break the shield, I don't suggest anybody using defenders in the guild boss. Maybe I use Tudor just because he have this defense down when he hit the enemy. And this is going to improve my total damage of the heroes. But defender who j just are there to be hitted and give some HP is um, healing. I don't think it's that good. For the gear rights, one... I don't think there is a place maybe if you want to make some formation in front of the in front of the gate uh to stop for example because defenders block i think three uh with some artifacts can go to four enemies and like this you can stop waves basically and i think this is going to be great and mario is going to be helpful there especially if you put her in the front if we check the map here you can put her at the center and left and right side you can put other defenders or strong uh, tanks like Wagwe. you can put also here what was the name of the other one Tudor for example you can put here Regulus there's many defenders you can put or maybe Baron that Mario is going to keep them alive also if you put some good healer the healer is also going to support bio what this combo here and every wave I mean th this heroes is going to block like three enemies and if you don't have strong dps's and you want to make sure that your wall survives somehow you can use Meryl there just to heal the two uh two other defenders and with the help of the other healer i think is going to be fine and you can put some dps's on these cubes here just to perform some kind of damage because <laughs> it's not only d defending you need to do dps especially with this healing annoying stuffs that the boss is doing uh is going to be very hard but it's a way to go for the gear right one of course stage 18 is different here you just have two cubes you can put Mario here and one more defender here one healer to keep others arrive alive and you can put maybe two fighters behind the wall this is absolutely same for the stage 19 you can put some defenders uh fighters here i'm going to even show you how i do my stage 19 just to give an idea that the ground units is actually something that is very very powerful of course i'm going to have 30 percent extra damage power of dominance uh all status is 30 percent but you're going to see what i'm talking about i have commit yeah commit is definitely a great damage but i'm going to use a four ground units and that's why when i talk about the mario using her here definitely i, I know what i talk about since right here i use abomination that is going to provide stun and stun all of these creatures here and behind i'm using volka rat in here i think i'm going to use tudor or arrogance okay arrogance and with four ground units i actually managed to pass stage 19 because stage 19 is big pain and it's normal it's basically the place where you get your legendary 
legendary gear, legendary weapon gear. <laughs> Because you can do gear right too and get your legendary uh, rings and necklaces, and same time you can go for gear right three and also get legendary necklaces and rings. Uh, but the only place where you can get your weapons is a gear right one, so it's painful here. But as you can see, Abomination is doing huge amount of damage, so you can put Mario here in the center. You can put Abomination. Well, I say Abomination because it's free to play player friendly, you can use, easily get him from the fusion or any other hero that have a long distance hit and you can put some other ground unit here with support of one hero on this side and you can even put some ground units behind. Since not everybody is going to have the best units in... I mean the best ranges or the best ground units so you have to make some little abomination <laughs> with your team to actually make this thing work and as you can see from the status on the first place is the abomination even with three percent more damage do it from the kmet so the yeah, abomination and mario can bring you pretty decent uh combo in cases like this So the, for the gear right too, you need defenders there, but I don't think Mario is one of these defenders there, since after each wave, the boss is going to kill everything on the field, and also these rolling uh, creatures can actually do a huge amount of damage, and one shot your Mario, so you have to put very decent gear on her, but still, I, I think, you actually you can use her. Actually, you can use her. This is my personal opinion. I don't use her, but you can use her. From the recommended heroes, you can see that she is not in the list. I think Wagwe is good. This guy that I still have on level 50 is a good one. It's most legendary heroes because, yeah, the stage is hard. But I think you can use Mario just to stop uh, the creature from the rolling somehow survive and with your main dps since in the gear right too you're going to just have one dps to perform the best damage uh, i use kmet sometimes i use cyrus but sometimes i use noctine you get the idea you need very strong decent dps in the gear right too to clear these rolling uh stones so yeah, this so far for the gear right 2, gear right 3, I don't think she have any place there. So from there, we're going to guild boss. I already talked, it's no, no, you need to break shields there. There is other heroes that is like Mario, and I'm going to show you. Uh, one of these heroes is, for example, Constance. If you check the Constance, we're going to see that she's also... Okay, here she's giving inspirational, but in general is attack based healing to one ally in rage, 60% healing, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. She's also providing a healing, increased healing to the other ground units. Additionally, her, I mean, this is the spells is, is close to same as a Mario, but she has uh, inspiration. And inspiration is what separates Duores from the rest of the heroes, and this is increasing the attack. This is maybe one of the most powerful buffs in Watch of Free Arms to get actually inspiration. And the other place, and I think the best place, okay, I, I forgot fractional right, here depend. For artifact material right, I think she cannot actually survive the hits of the wasp boss. I don't think she can survive. Um, of course, this is the heroes used there, but if you check the defenders, uh, I use Uwagwe on the stage 19, just to show you maybe how I do stage 19, just to give you some an idea, and maybe you can do it the same way since I get struggles also here. So use Abomination, uh, when the boss come here, and I put Uwagwe, I like this Abomination, the boss is little close to this... Uh, a blue circle so both of abomination and volka is going to hit the boss and of course abomination on this side just to cover incoming mobs uh arrogance is over here just to kill this one now the best place for mario is going to be at center as a uh as a tank and maybe heal these two 
creatures here, these two ground units, since you're going to have just one cube for the range unit. And like this, you can use her, but again, I don't think she's going to survive there. I really don't think she's going to survive this boss from first look. Don't hit hard, but believe me, even with the Regulus, I was not able to finish this stage. It was absolutely big pain for me to actually go and do the gear right 18, stage 18. Uh, of course, I watched a couple of videos. I even use uh, Cutter. <laughs> But anyway, for the tight you can definitely use her. There is like uh, eight creatures you can put on the ground. So if you need some kind of healing uh, and some kind of defense, you can put her there. She's going to do, I think, absolutely fine. And the final place that I think she's going to be the best maybe is Arena. Now, if there is Arena that you want to stop the enemy from the beginning, I think you can use her. She's going to be your main tank. She's going to be providing with the healing. And she's going to also keep the survivability of your other ground units. Uh, right now, it's single target DPS. I'm going to maybe make one auto attack. Here, I use my team. That is Rat, uh, Val Valeria, Arrogance, Dwarves, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to show you where is the places where you can use her. Of course, this not apply for everything, but I think it's pretty decent one. Okay, why rats start from here? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, the enemy actually killed it bef before me, but uh, you can put Mario maybe somewhere here or maybe here. And like this, you're going to stop and heal, for example, here is... Uh, Valeria, that is going to support my rat. I use rat as a tank since with his ultimate, he's actually getting pretty decent uh, amount of healing. As you can see, 15k, 12k. This is huge amount of damage. And yeah, <laughs> basically killing everything here. So you get my idea. You can build your Mario somewhere here and build all your creatures around the Mario. So she can actually heal. Uh, and they can do DPS. And as you can see, it's pretty easy just to block the enemy before they reach you closer. Uh, round 1. I'm not so sure can I actually win this thing. But I think I'm going to win it. I mean, yeah. Easy peasy. So on the question, should you invest in Mario? My personal opinion, if, if this is the only hero that you, you have as a defender, yeah, you can start putting some effort in her just to make your progression in the game but the moment you open Void Reef you're going to have a uh, Wagwe that is again one of the best tanks in Watcher of Realms so Mario maybe don't put a lot of investment in this hero because if you're not smart with your investments you may have bad time so I guess this will be for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you do hit one like subscribe of course let me know your personal opinion over Mario and yes yeah, see you in the next video